Hello YouTubers, welcome back to GQR Diagnostics and Repair, where my job was to save you money. This morning I'm working on a 2005 Jeep Liberty with a 3.7 as a 6 cylinder automatic four wheel drive. Oh. And we're gonna replace the radiator because it's uh, the front right corner, okay, on the passenger side, and the tank is leaking. So we are going to replace this unit and I want to make a video for you guys hopefully this help in case you're having some issues with your radiator and hopefully this help first thing we need to do we're going to remove this uh, support okay right here so it's gonna be one two three uh, six seven eight and nine bolts so let's get right to it. We're gonna work with one hand. So this moment. So far all the bolts are the same length. Mm -hmm. So let's remove them before we actually start. Yeah. Thanks. Maybe I'm wrong here. No, I don't. I don't need to remove this one. I don't think. So. Oh, I don't. And this is a cover. Okay, perfect. So far, so good. Next, we gotta remove those two here on the bottom. We're gonna need an extension. Let's see if we can. thing that we can do here is remove this the grill it should be easy but sometimes this they're kind of brittle and might give you trouble so be mindful of that so far we're doing good These are different than the ones on the top, so let's keep that in mind. Let me place the camera so I can use two hands. Just want to have this here suspended. Let me see. Okay. 
hold it there it's 213 millimeters we're going to remove so we can just remove. yeah 13 millimeter the next thing I'm gonna use this to mark what it is located this one have a little bit of uh, adjustment I don't know if it is gonna you're gonna be able to see it on the on the camera there both sides so I can just put everything back pretty much simple place and it's easy that way doing is popping here so I can go around and take the cable remove it that's it done don't have to be have it on the middle of anything Next thing, I'm going to remove the hoses. Tight that one. So what we're gonna do here. And make sure. area we need to clean it all this calcification you gotta go it's a 10 millimeter to 10 millimeters so if we 
we can use this. One. These are different than the other ones. what you do so you pull you push towards the back of the vehicle and left one at a time mm -hmm. here as you can see already collect the coolant there uh, the next thing that we need to do is remove the uh, radiator hose on the bottom here behind this air deflect deflector plastic that is a 10 millimeter bolt on both sides okay so we need to uh, it's right there right there I don't know if you guys can see what my finger is we are going to remove this board you know what let's see if I can pull it and there it is we want to make sure we reinstall this because if we remove it or we destroy it or if it's not there you should put it back so that way the air goes right through the radiator other way it can go around and it's not gonna get enough right here this is what I'm gonna use all right behind perfect it's right there Extension 10 millimeter. I'll break it loose. Hmm. That's it. The same thing on the other side. In case somebody wondered why I did not remove or disconnect the fan is because the terminal is no longer there and is being put together and I don't feel like go ahead and taking those uh, wires apart uh, I have enough space to uh, to put it on the side so I'm not gonna disconnect it and twist wiggle it might leak a little there it is it did leak some I 
have a bolt here where the condenser attached to the radiator one we have two hopefully you guys can see there I'll remove those two as well and I believe that will be everything that we need to uh, this is a 10 millimeter too to remove this uh, radiator we'll see now I have to lift the condenser a little to be able to detach de it from uh, the radiator okay so we're gonna lift it and on the bottom pull it towards the front of the car and let it drop it should stay there This plastic is in the way. Here in the bottom is stuck. There it is. Okay, the reason it's given some trouble here is because we have an external transmission cooler. Now it's hard to lift the condenser because those lines, these hoses only give you so much room to do that. That is why we have a little challenging at the moment.
there's the leak. So remove the sport so you can turn the the dampener or the the mounts rubber mounts so you can transfer those to the new one and you don't have any issues both are the same have a guy there one direction yes when you don't have that external cooler what you're gonna do you're gonna lift the condenser and you can slide it or you can do this because you have plenty of room the hoses here the prey give you enough give to do that but in this case I was not able to do it so I needed to lift this corner high enough to go over the metal the curve right here as soon as it went there over tilted move that hose and comes up okay you should not have this much uh, challenge like I like you saw me on the video so far I hope you liked the video if you did if you have enjoyed the video please uh, subscribe to the channel like the video share the video leave your comments down below I will appreciate it now I gotta get this radiator so I can get things moving